Hi, it's Andrew here from uh, Backcountry Skiing Canada. We're on a bit of a trip in the Tetons in Wyoming, and we're here with Jordan Campbell from uh, Marmot, and we're sampling some of his gear today, and I'm going to act as a, uh, a bit of a model. So I'll stop talking and I'll let, uh, let Jordan take over and talk to you about some of the things that I'm wearing today. Sure thing. Well, thanks, Andrew. And yeah, we just skied some great lines up here, coming down, taking a little break. Um, this all week, um, weekend, we're, we're out really kind of testing uh, some of the best pinnacle products that Marmot, together with Polar Tech, have put together, um, literally from skin to shell. So um, down on Andrew's first layer, he's got Marmot base layer in our Sport or Pro. I'm not sure which one you're wearing, but perfect for you want me to get all undressed yeah, you now? you can show it off a little bit, sure. So uh, we'll start from the shell and move out, I mean, it's, uh, the base layer and move okay, out. Yeah. So he's got, it's got base layer on there, which is great wicking, moisture wicking. And uh, and it goes into um, what is an extra layer of insulation by um, produced by Polar Tech initially and then put together in an amazing garment. It's called the Alpha Pro Jacket. So this is kind of the... Cool arms. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, we've got power stretch on the arms. You've got alpha insulation on the body. It actually goes over on the back of the garment with a yoke as well. You can kind of see it there. So you've got a lot of stretch, power stretch for skinning uphill, and climbing and scrambling over rocks, like which we did up there. Yep. And uh, and uh, again, this this alpha insulation really is incredibly thermoregulating. So it takes that moisture through that first base layer layer and then moves it across through this uh, incredibly active insulation. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's been wearing this thing all day, this uh, Alpha Pro jacket. Yep. And then uh, just to add another jacket layer is the uh, mm. Isotherm jacket. And uh, I think you have the full jacket and some people have the hoodie there on that trip. Yep, no hoodie. Yeah, no it's hoodie got a one. little bit of soft shell, kind of a lightweight, summer weight soft shell so it can handle a pack well. And then it also can carry the skis over there when you're at the ski area, not gonna cut up the fabric. But again, this is entirely Alpha insulation. So terrific um, moisture wicking, moisture managing and thermo regulating garment as well. And then the final layer, I've already got it on while you throw it on, is the, uh, is the Marmot Nabu jacket. And this is really our soft shell for backcountry skiing first and foremost, but it can be used in a multitude of different situations. And this is uh, uh, another uh, combination with Marmot and Polar Tech together. This is um, the, uh, the, the most breathable uh, NeoShell fabric that we have used in SoftShell yet. NeoShell is, a is an entire uh, laminated SoftShell technology and uh, it's totally waterproof and it's very, very breathable. So when we're even skinning uphill in cold temperatures, you can use this and obviously for skiing some of the lines we were doing here earlier, it's really great. Throw it on. Yep, and it's, if you scrape it over rocks, it's great for backcountry skiing. So, Totally fully waterproof and it has a hood, as you can see. And uh, you know, and so you know, you're in full conditions here. I mean, this is what I would use on any expedition in the Himalaya or in a big ski, ski touring situation like we're in today. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then I think just the whole combination allows for incredible thermal regulation from skin to shell all the way out to the outer layer. So, yeah. That's what I have to say. Right on. Thank you. Thank you, Jordan. You, you know your stuff. We're going to have a couple more reviews of some of these products on the site to uh, provide more information for our viewers, so make sure to check them out. And uh, see you from the Tetons in Wyoming. Got it. Right on. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks a lot.